Welcome to this next video from Howard Piano Industries. I'm Steve Howard and uh, we're going to be showing you today in this video how to set um, A440 with a tuning fork. Um, this is the first step when you're when you're tuning uh, piano by ear is to set your initial note and you now some people use a different tuning fork rather than A440. Some will use the F um, or the C fork, um, but uh, A440 is what generally what I use. Uh, you know, some people say, "Well, what's more common?" Um, I'm not sure what's more common, but I just I just know that uh, A440 is what I generally use um, if I'm if I'm tuning by ear um, to use a tuning fork. So we're going to show you um, options with a, a couple different options. Here we've got a traditional uh, steel tuning fork. And um, this is a Whitner. We sell these on our website. Um, and then we'll also show you with an electronic tuning fork. Uh, we've got it on the iPad, or you can get them on your smartphone, or, or that type of thing. So a um, couple different ways. But uh, but setting the setting your first note to start with um, uh, is, is the first step in um, that you're going to be doing when you're tuning a piano by ear. Now some say, well, why do you have to tune to any uh, standard at all. Why don't you just start wherever A A four is and um, tune the rest of the piano to that? When well, you could do that, but um, then it wouldn't say if say it's below pitch or above pitch or whatever. Um, it's good to you know usually bring it back to where it should be. Now there are some like I've talked in other videos about reasons why you may want to. Uh, tune below standard pitch or above standard pitch depending on the season or whatever for different reasons but um, that's another topic but anyways today we're going to be showing you how to do it so we'll get started here here we've got to uh, show you first with the standard traditional tuning fork um, now there's some different ways so what you do is you strike the tuning fork on a hard surface I usually use my knee um, you could you don't want to necessarily do it on the case of the piano because it can dent uh, dent the wood because it's pretty hard so I just use my knee and then um, because it's uh, they're usually pretty quiet you have to put put the um, the, the end okay so you can see kind of there's a ball end there I either put it on a hard surface um, what I like to do is I put uh, this end of the of the fork between my teeth okay don't do that if you're borrowing a friend's tuning fork because they might not appreciate that you stuck it in your mouth okay and also Maybe use a cleaning, to clean tuning fork. So, if you're going to put it in your mouth, so but that's that uh, seems to work. But because but what that does is that vibrates the sound, so you can hear it better in your head, or at least from my experience. And the other thing is that frees up your hands, so that one hand can be playing the note and the other hand can be tuning, turning the tuning lever at the same time. If you put it you know stick it on here you only have one hand available so so that's the reasoning that I use uh, between sticking it between my teeth uh, and it usually works pretty good so um, here we've got A4 um, A440 is kind of the international or international standard uh, sometimes they'll do A435 or A442 or whatever but um, A440 is um, in most cases the standard so that's what we're working with today so I'm gonna just to kind of, as an example, I'm going to hit it, and hopefully you can hear that. Okay, so so that shows you the sound. It's not super loud, but it's um, once you stick it on a hard surface, you can. I waited too long. You can hear the the tone. Okay, now. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear that when it's between my teeth, but at least I can hear it in my head. But uh, what we're going to do is, and I've already tuned this um, A4, but what you're going to want to do, and I'll show you some uh, the way to check it, um, you know, for accuracy once you've tuned it. But uh, okay, that's probably a little bit sharp because I tuned it to my um, electronic tuning fork, and I found that this tuning fork is just a little bit flat. It's about 0.9 cents flat or almost a, almost a full cent flat. Um, and that's the thing, another thing with um, steel tuning forks or you know the traditional tuning forks, they can vary in pitch a little bit um, depending on the temperature and so forth. So um, so you can adjust that if it's if it's too cold, um, you know you can warm it up in your hand. 
um, the, so that that's one thing. So like it's you know, in the winter time and you've had your bag out in the in the car when it where it's cold, um, the tuning fork will will vary in pitch depending on temperature and so forth. So um, that's why I like like prefer to use the um, the digital or electronic tuning fork, um, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, but anyways, to check your um, check your uh, your results. Okay, what you can do is. Um, is you can check uh, actually I'm, I'm going to show you the check with the digital tuning fork since that's what it's tuned to but basically what you're going to do is you're going to once you've got it tuned or at least where you think to the tuning fork you can double check it uh, by playing the octave below it now you can hear that's not completely in tune but it doesn't really matter as long as it's close and you can hear an audible beat um, you know that's not too terribly fast or too terribly slow. So um, you want it to be a little bit off so there's a... okay so you can hear there's there's a beat there hopefully you can hear it uh, you might not be able to hear it on the recording but okay when what you want to do is then you can play the note with your tuning fork, whether it be digital or, or a traditional tuning fork, and see if that beat rate is the same. Okay, so this beat rate should be the same as this beat rate. Okay, again, I, I can hear it better with the, with it, with the, um, and of course when you put it between your teeth, you don't want to put this part of it between your teeth because then it'll stop the vibration. Okay, because this, this is the part of the tuning fork that vibrates. Okay, so I just put this this end of the of the tuning fork in my teeth. Okay, so that's um, that's how we do it. So, but anyway, so let, let's. Um, I've got my iPad here with my digital tuning fork. Okay, and it's actually a little louder. And the other thing is it doesn't fade away as time goes it just keeps going so that should be pretty good now I'm going to double check it with this note down here okay and you can hear that beat and it should be the same speed as this the, the beat of these two notes Okay, so you can hear, uh, hopefully you can hear that, um, that that beat rates, but that's how you double check it when you're to, to see if you're close. And, and of course, if you've got Tune Lab on your, on your um, iPad or, or whatever you're, you know, if you've got a computer you to use it on or your smartphone or whatever, um, you can double check. And that's a nice thing um, when, um, you know, with, with Tune Lab is you can double check your results. Let me see where we're at with this. Okay, so that's that's just about right on there. Um, so so that's uh, that's the way you can you can double check yourself if you've got tuning software or tuning tuning electronic tuning device um, as you're practicing to to get better at um, improving your accuracy on um, on setting that first A440. Now part of the tuning test for the uh, to become a registered piano technician for the Piano Technicians Guild is setting that A4. Uh, you have to be able to get it within one cent, either plus or minus, of, of where it should be. Um, you know, so, I don't know, I always think the electronic tuning fork is, um, is uh, easier to use and, and uh, so forth. So that's what I tend to use, but, but you might find traditional tuning fork that works better for you as well if you don't have an electronic tuning fork so um, so that's you know that's a little lesson here today on how to set a4 again the first step in in tuning your piano by ear uh, if you have any questions uh, feel free to visit our website where we've got lots of um, informational and instructional videos for you our website is howardpianoindustries.com